Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be a follow-up to my uh, XML data provider demo. So, in two previous videos, we have worked on basically how to bind to XML data, how to filter, so on and so forth. And while doing that, we all the always use list boxes. So with this video, what I want to do is I use a couple different containers. Uh, one of them is going to be a tree view and the other one is going to be a list view. So I'm going to comment this first list box out and insert a tree view instead. Just right here. Okay, so I start typing tree view, open close, and again by default it's gonna go into first column, first row, and give it a font size of 20. Um, and item source, I'm going to set the item source to open close curly braces and I'm going to say bind to and set the source and source is going to be static resource XML DP within my curly braces next I'm going to insert a comma right here right between two curly braces and bring it the line down and continue setting the expat I'm going to set the expat to star, which means it's a root, and then slash all the child knows under the root. Okay, so as soon as we do that, we get the information here, and that's all good, but that's not how we want to display it. We can set the tree view. So I'm going to set the tree view item template and I'm gonna bring tree view item actually no I need data template inside the item template and inside here tree view item I'm gonna need to set the header to binding expat name it is going to grab the name value from our objects our uh, child elements which is John and Jane Doe's okay underneath the tree view item actually I'm gonna need to expand this inside the tree view item actually I'm gonna add a stack panel and the stack panel is gonna contain the phone numbers. So I'm going to say text block. My first text block is going to be text property and set this to binding expat again. This time, let me bring this down. It's loud this way so it doesn't overflow the screen. So I'm going to set the expect to, so, so far we have the names. I want to grab the contact info and the child elements. Namely, first one is going to be the cell, and second one is going to be the work phone number. So, expect. So if I say star, I should get the uh, contact info, child note, slash another star should give me all the info child notes here I'm going to filter it so oops yeah that's right open close square brackets and we are looking for the property type type here so I'm going to say at type equals open close single quotes and the value is cell 
And if you remember, we need to, since we don't have curly braces around this whole thing right after the expat, we need to escape the special characters, namely the, the equals and single codes. We need to escape all three of them. So that's going to get us the cell phone number. I'm going to copy this text block and paste it. I'm just going to change the value to work and that should give me the work phone number. So we've got the cell phone and the work phone right under the person's name. Let's run this. And we got a beautiful tree view. Okay, so we can build a phone book just like that. Okay, so that's tree view. Now I'm gonna comment the second list box out and do a insert a list view. This view is very similar to list box with some added benefits. I'm going to set the grid that row to 1. It's going to be over here. Font size is going to be 20 again. Let me close this for a second. It's over here. So, again, we're going to set the item source to binding source open close curly braces static resource xml dp and this comma between the braces set the expat to root dot contacts okay Again, just same as star star is does the same thing. If you replace these elements with star, does the same thing. All right. So again, here I want to display this instead of a list box. I want to display the table, which brings us to our list view something called list view dot view open close and inside the list view view we need to bring in grid view okay so once we have our grid view we can set our grid view column we're going to set each column individually here and header this is just text I'm just gonna call, call this column or title as name since everything under there is going to be a name and set the display bind member binding and this is with um, combo boxes it's, I think it's called display member pad here we have display member binding again we want to open let me actually bring this down first and right inside our double coats let's open close curly braces and set the binding to X pad and name we got our names uh, next field it's going to be the field grid view column header let's just get a g and uh, bring this down display member binding Set to expat gender. 
close this out gender and let's rebuild this because it's out of place Did I press rebuild okay so name we got the name and we got the genders and the next one is a little bit tricky but not too much so grid view we need the grid view column again header you want to say this is going to be contact info and close this inside here we want to use a template so grid view grid view column dot cell template we're going to bring in data template inside data template we want to grab at stack panel open close and inside stack panel um, just two text blocks first one we want to set the text to binding expat uh, up to this point, we only have the contact, right? Okay. So that means we need to grab the contact info first with star slash another star to grab the uh, all the elements, child nodes of contact info, these two elements. And next, we're going to filter. Filter, open, close, square brackets. Oops. And again, at type equals. So, and we have to escape these characters again. And close this out. And can bring this down so we have a little. You can see the whole thing. Okay. Let me copy and paste this. And just change this to work. All right, we got the work and uh, cell phone. Let's rebuild this and run this. So we got our list view, I mean tree view, and our grid view inside a list view. All right, so that's another way of doing it. And one more thing, I have to do one little more thing here. I want to change the color of the text based on what I said here. So I'm going to enter a new um, attribute for gender called color. And for male, I want to set it to blue. And for female, I like to set it to magenta. Okay, save this, go back to our three view, and I'm going to go all the way up to three item template, data template, tribute item. I'm going to set the fork, fork ground. So let me bring this down. I'm going to set the foreground to binding expert. 
want to grab the gender slash and get the color attribute I think that should do it let's rebuild this and there you have it so we got blue for uh, male and magenta for female and it looks beautiful all right so that's it for this demo thanks for tuning in and please subscribe thank you